What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about replacing a Goodman heat pump package unit with a new Bosch variable speed heat pump package unit. Now I'm pretty excited about this. Let's do some work. All right, so here is the unit we're going to be taking out. They had a fence going across there, so that was removed. Uh, we should be okay leaving the two side pieces in, but we'll see how that goes. But we've got a nice solid concrete pad. I'll be uh, making a custom shroud to replace that, so we should be good to go. But yeah, the new Bosch unit should be quite a bit smaller, maybe a little bit taller, but shouldn't be any problem get that, getting that in here. Okay, so we got the unit removed and we found out that the return and the supply doctor actually swapped. They did a big, huge turn basically to get them to hook up properly. So this must have been an old Heil horseshoe style before. And then they went with the Goodman. So what we're gonna do, Matt just went, or Matt is going under the house now we're going to see if we can get these swapped over. The ducts need to be replaced anyway. They're not in good shape. So we're going to hope that there's enough room under the house where they can just be swapped over. No problem. Okay, so once we removed the equipment, we noticed that the ducts were crossed. And what I mean by that is that one there is our supply and that one there is our return. Now it should be the opposite. So we went under the crawl space to look to see if we could you know, flip them over and there was just no space. As you can tell, it's very tight. So what we ended up doing is we made this box. If you can tell, it's just a big box. So that way the ducts can connect directly to the box and we can get it really close to the house. But on the inside, we put a collar in there for the supply. And then on the return side, it just stays open. And then we're gonna connect the flex, cross it over, connect it to the supply side there, and the return side stays open. So essentially, this whole box that we made is like a big free air return duct is what it is. And that way we can get this unit closer to the house and not have a, the duct work do a bunch of crossover crazy stuff. And this will be the best for the airflow. So we got all this connected so far. We need to finish sealing that up and then we'll be ready to connect it to the unit here and get it set in place. Okay, so we got the unit in place. We have it leveled up. It's good and square, good and solid. The crossover box is installed, sealed up, really close to the house, so that worked out well. Um, it's sealed all the way around, so we're good to go. Because this flashing is so big, I'm actually gonna have my sheet metal guy make it for me. He's got the bigger setup. I just have a four foot brake. So I wanna make sure it's got good cross brakes in it, all that good stuff so it's good and strong. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow morning to install the flashing. Um, it's not supposed to rain tonight anyway, so we should be good to go. Anyhow, we are about to do the electrical and then the low voltage obviously drain line so it pretty much took us all day to make this box and get this duct work right which I'm glad we did because I believe it's gonna work out very well for the situation that we're in so I don't think there's anything else we could have done any better but we're gonna get to getting this thing wired up in the orange box Okay, so for right now, we've got the electrical connected. It's not strapped or anything. I'm gonna wait until I get the flashing installed and then I'll get that all nice and secured. Low voltage is done. Got the heater kit installed. Everything's good to go. Matt's working on the drain. Looks like he's got that finished up. Look how cute that looks. He's got it turned to where it goes with the unit. Now that's quality. So I was just reading through the manual here and making some settings. 
on the dip switch on the main board so that should be good to go i'm going to go inside double check the wiring at the thermostat i think i need to connect y2 so it'll have multiple fan speeds and then we're going to start this thing up okay so we are back this morning to install the flashing got everything started up last night this is a nice big hood that i had custom made Turned out really nice. Matt's over here getting everything siliconed up. As you can tell, I mean, this thing is running full blast right now. And it is just super quiet. I am very pleased with these Bosch package units. I like the way they look. I like how sturdy they are. The metal is nice and thick. The insulation on the inside panels has this really sturdy backing to it. Man. All the panels are sealed up really nice. I'm just very pleased overall with the quality of this unit, how it installs. So, yeah, just super happy with it. So that wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the process. I'm not going to go into the startup or anything on it today. I don't really have the time for that. I'm going to do that in a separate video. I want to come back and do a good, thorough startup on it. I really want to show you guys how these units operate because they do operate differently than a standard uh, package unit. So I think that's a whole video in itself. But I hope you guys enjoyed the process. I hope you really enjoyed that crossover box that we made. Man, it turned out beautifully. Uh, the airflow is perfect. So under this certain situation, I'm very pleased on how that turned out. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys for today. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.